Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Co Artistry and tonight I'm going to be working on an 11 by 14 paint pouring canvas by Artist Loft. Um, I'm going to be working with some pearls and then some um, blue, brown, and green. And I've already painted my sides because I want to make sure that the um, background color colors over. And I'm going to be using this little round PVC pipe that I have and I'm going to be setting it right about here. Um, and we're going to do um, kind of a pearl background, pearls and blue and silver background. And then in the center here, I'm going to be using my um, sap green, my, I think this is a little bit of uh, a tan brown I made up for another painting a long time ago some Br Prussian blue, and then a little bit of white. And I hope everything makes sense when we start working on this, but let's get started. So first, um, I'm going to take my pearl colors here. And what I've done to get these pearl colors, let me show you these, they're so pretty. Okay, so this first one is actually my um, Academy Acrylic Thalo Blue with pearl essence added to it. My second color is my um, Liquitex Basics Primary Blue, again with pearl essence added to it. And my next color is my uh, Liquitex Basics Ugh, Liquitex Basics um, Silver with Pearl added to it. Very pretty colors. Next and lastly for our background is my Liquitex Basics Ultramarine Blue and I've added pearlescence to that as well because again I'm looking for a nice pearl background with uh, these blue colors. So you can already see, it. see as it dries, the pearl is just amazing. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking some of this blue, some of these blues, and I'm going to layer them in a cup, and then I'm going to pour them around the outside of my piece of PVC. I'm going to get these stirred up. I don't want to cause bubbles in them, but I want to make sure that the pearlescence is still thoroughly mixed in here. Because I made these up ahead of time so that the bubbles would have time to pop. Okay, and then here's our last one. These colors are some of my favorite colors, um, and that's why I chose these blues to add the pearlescence to. Just gorgeous. Okay, so let's start out with our, again, this is my Academy Acrylic Thalo Blue. will be first. So I'm just going to layer some in the cup. Next is our primary blue with our pearl in it. Getting a little bit lighter as we go. Next is our silver, and the silver is just going to be so that we have some lighter accent in here. And then last, but lastly is the ultramarine, again with the pearl in it. So, I'm not sure how well you can see that. The whole cup is, has got a beautiful pearl shimmer to it. Okay, so then, I think I'll go back a little bit. And a little bit of the phthalo. Ultramarine. 
and I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I just thought that this would be really stunning. Okay, um, I don't want to. I don't want to make too much on here, but I think I'm. I think I need a little bit more. So we're going to add some more. Cup. And I'm just continuing to layer the cup until I think I have enough to cover the um, the background of this canvas. Okay, so now we've got kind of two layers plus in here. And just to make sure we're going to take our darkest color here and as you can see I've already painted the sides so I'm just going to run a small bead around the edge like so and then I'm just going to rub it in because I just want to make sure that this is going to flow once I get this going pearl on this is just gorgeous. I have some Oahu pearl paints, um, but I found this pearl, um, pearl essence pigment stuff that is just gorgeous. And you just literally add it to your paint. Um, and I, I replaced part of my um, Troll with this pearlescent medium. There we go. So that I could, um, I didn't, you know, I could still use my same mixture. So again, that's we're testing all that as well. But look at the pearl on here. You can see it just from on my hands how shiny it is. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. We're going to pour our cup on, and then we're going to blow this out, and then we're going to do the center. Now, I know this is really tall, and I unfortunately, the only other circle I had was this one. It was way too big. So I'm going to use this little one because that's the one I want. And uh, you're not going to be able to see too much in here. I might be able to get my camera to go in here um, and see if I can get it to... See if I can get you a picture of it. Once we get going here... All right, but let's let's find out. So I'm just going to, like I said, just kind of gonna go around, try to create a little bit of decoration in this background here. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to blow this out now. So bear with me. Okay, I think I've got that the way I want it now. Yeah, okay. Kind of like when I do my wave paintings, but I wanted it to be more like out there. Now I do want to add a little bit more of the darker blue. Um, so I'm just going to drizzle that on there a little bit the way it, where I want it. Because I don't want it to be like all blown out again for that. Sort of blending in some of the 
spots that sort of glob. Because I don't want them to be, to look like little dots. I want them to kind of blend in yet look like they're streaking. Now, um, and this is going to be a little harder to show you, so let me see if there is a way. Um, yeah, I don't think I can get you any closer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these colors, okay, and I'm going to put them inside of here, but I'm not going to put them in... Um, see it. I don't want them in there so much that they all like go into the to this um, and then spill out all over the blue. So I'm going to try to be careful. So I wonder this was. So, so that was my Prussian blue, and this is my sap green from a previous pour. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit in here. Like so. I'll get a picture of this. I'll take a picture of this so you can see what I, had, what I was doing. And then we're going to put in some of this brown. And this brown is a, just like a light tannish brown that we had from a previous pour. So I'm just going to transfer some of that in here, like so. And then the white. And the white is my Blick Titanium White, um, just put into a smaller bottle for when I do my sides or, you know, stuff like this. Now, here's the goofy part. I need to blow out the center. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to take a picture of this so that you can see what, what, I, what I put in the center. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of this. So these are the colors that are now in the center. And I'll show you what it looks like after I blow it out. tiny blowout, I'm going to switch over to my um, flower hair dryer because it's much smaller and I should be able to get it into the piece of PVC a little easier. And I'm only blowing it slightly, so. Alright, so now I'm going to blow this. to make sure that we don't have too much on the inside and we don't have too much on the outside because when we take this off we, we just don't want a big mess. I've never done this before so we could end up with a mess anyway. But I just thought I'd try it because I saw these pearl, that pearl essence exactly it's called. Ugh, sorry. It is called Pearl Medium. And so you can basically add it to any of your paints because I tried to find some pearl paints other than the Ahuha one. Ahoho. I don't remember how to say that. Ahu, Ahoho, Ahuha paints that I had. And while they're all pearl, 
the pearl in them is not as shimmery as this is. So I thought I would go with this instead. See, I mean, this is just gorgeous with pearl. Okay, so now, like I said, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Some repairing afterward. Let's see. Let it sit for a minute. Let it all settle down. Because I don't think it's too deep in here. So I'm not worried so much worried about that as I am that the, the blue pearl will suck into there and, and take away my shape. And I can always fix the shape later, but let's just give it some time to. As I'm turning this, these paints are moving around too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, they're not they're not too overly thick in here, so that's good. So that was another one of my concerns is that it would, I would end up with way too much paint. I think I might be a little shy. Too, too thick. All right, we're gonna pull it off and see what happens. If it, wor it works or, or it won't. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So here's what we've got so far: the blue stage on its own, and the the green, white, and um, brown did its thing. It's not too much. I do have to fix the outline a little bit because it is a circle and we don't want that. So let's try using this paintbrush to see if we can, yeah, okay. So the paintbrush is helping. I don't want the green to be flying out of here though. that sit for right now because I like what's going on with this I just don't want um, I don't want the the um, blue and the green to mix too much up a little bit and then keep do our best to keep our planet set so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on around my little planet here so that I can add some of the darker blues in here again seem to be get a little bit lighter than what I wanted so I'm going to darken it up a little bit and I'm going to do that what do I want to use I just still don't like to use this color so I'm going to use this darker blue again. any of the other um, lighter blues, but I think I may add some Prussian to this too. So I really want to darken it up a little bit. And the blue 
move this out a little bit. I'm kind of blowing it out in layers, actually. Um, I think I'm going to try to use the the uh, flower dryer, but if it gets too hot, then I'll have to hook over to the other one. So here we go. Okay, I just wanted a little, I wanted it a little bit darker in spots and that seems to have worked. Okay, um, so again, when we take this off, we're going to have this area here that we need to deal with. So I'm just going to trim this around and let it off of there. And then we'll, we'll fix this later. Okay, yeah, this looks a little more fluid, which is what I wanted around here but we have so much green coming out that I'm going to draw up the blue. Instead of drawing it out of it, I'm going to draw it up into it. Does that make sense? Like I said, I do see some touch-ups going to be needed, which is fine. don't want it to look like a perfect circle around it. That's good, that's good. We've got some colors coming out here that we'll get rid of. Okay, I like that. Alright. So, we don't want to blow this. And the pearl is really pretty. I'm not concerned with the drag down here either. I'm just going to smooth this because I think the sides will be one color. Um, I'm not worried about the drip down on the sides of this. So I'm just going to smooth them together just to make sure we have a good thick covering on those edges. Okay, I like that. Now, once once this dries, I, like I said, I will I will round this out, and then I will touch up because it, we do need some white in here yet. But I'm not going to touch it right now. I want it to settle down and, and do its thing. So I'm going to scrape the underneath because we don't want this to continue to drip down. using my fingers because they're already full of this paint. This pearl paint is really pretty. You can put this pearl um, medium in your any of your paints. It's just gorgeous. So, all right. Um, so I'm going to let this all settle down, and then um, when I'm ready to do the touch-ups and the leftover things, I'll bring you back down and I will show you what I'm doing on those as well. 
So until then, let's let it dry and then I'll be back. 